It's 8.30 in the morning and James Fraser and his hard-working conservation dog duo Peg and Duke are gearing up for a big day. Hello Peggy, how are you? So this is Peg, she's uh, seven years old and she's an English setter. Today they're carrying out important Kiwi survey work in the pest-free Rotakari Scenic Reserve in Taranaki. And we've actually got two dogs in here. This is Duke, he's uh, four and he's uh, Peg's son. Let's go to work. We're wearing our muzzles and our high-vis jackets and the orange helps us see the dogs in the bush. Even though conservation dogs and their handlers go through extensive training and assessment to become certified, conservation dogs always wear muzzles when working in the presence of protected species. So there are trap lines all through this bush, which is really handy because it's a really thick bush and it gives us an idea of where to go. These guys are really good company and that's just as well because we spend up to three weeks at a time camping in the bush. So they're, they're living with us. So our job today is to look for brown kiwi that live within this fenced area and see what the numbers are and what the condition or the, the health of these birds is. So Rotokari is a um, kohanga site, so that means birds are gathered from outside the fence where they're at risk from being eaten by some of the predators and they're brought into the reserve where they can breed up and then when the population is uh, big enough and strong enough they can get returned back out to the area outside of the fence. Yep. This is us, this is the start of the trap line, so it's where we start working for the day. So what we're going to do is to take one of the dogs off the lead, and that dog will work ahead until it gets a bit tired, probably Peg, because she's older, and then we'll bring her on heel and let Duke have a run around. Duke, heel. Peg, away you go. So I've got two main calls I'll be using today, and what that means is the dog has to come and look at me and check in, and then off it'll go again and start searching again. Duke, away. And which is come, so come right into me and stay with me until I tell you to go off again. Duke! So if a dog doesn't come to the come call, it means that it's found a kiwi, and what it means then is we have to go and find a white dog in an orange jacket rather than a small brown bird underground. Peg, Peg. So I've got Peg out there searching now. So she's an indicator dog, so when she finds a bird, she'll stop and point at the bird, she'll point or sit down, and at that stage I'll go and try to find her and I'll put her on a lead and have a look down the hole. And if it's a kiwi, we'll really gently extract it out of its burrow. What I'll do is I'll get my torch out and have a look. I can't see any bird and there might be a back door. So what I'll do is I'll give Tasha a ring and see if she can come and give us a hand to, to block up any back doors that might be around. James calls for assistance from his co-worker Tash, who is on the other side of the reserve. You ready? One leg. Okay. Don't come out that way, do you? So this is great. So with a bill of 55.1 and a weight of 605 grams, this will be a chick from last season. So it's about six months, nine months old. So what I'm trying to do here is find a little featherless track. It's an area with no feathers just under the wing. So we actually put the transponder in there. So now every time this bird's caught, we can use this transponder reader and find out who it is. And now, my little friend, we can let you go. You can go back to sleep for the rest of the day. Outside of fenced areas like this or outside of areas where there's no trapping, 95% of chicks get killed by predators. And it's only when they get to 1200 grams, so one year old, that they're actually safe from those predators. And once, once they're at that safe weight, they're, they're amazingly um, capable of growing new populations. And that's what he's going to do when he gets to 1200 grams, and we release them outside of the fence. Good work. Come on, let's go and find another one. Hello, who are you? Good girl. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Uh, where was it? There we go. What's that number say? 5606. Five, we can tell it's an adult female by the length of its bill. If the bill is longer than 105, we know it's an adult female. And this one's 127.7, so she's a huge girl. So what I've got here is a little radio transmitter and we're going to put this onto the bird's leg 
and we'll let her go. The people here can monitor her and when they think they've found a good place for her to go, they can find her using the radio transmitter and release her back into Taranaki. I feel blown away by the opportunity to work with such dedicated people. James, Peg and Duke are essential to what we do. They're helping us understand the population of Kiwi here and working closely with them helps us learn how to do our work better. I really, really enjoy this work because I get the opportunity to work my dogs and I get the opportunity to work my dogs on these really precious Tauranga species like Kiwi and Kākāpō. But for me, what makes this really special is being able to work with community groups and volunteers that give up their time to help safeguard those Tauranga species. I really enjoy working with these guys because they, they do it all for love. Like, they follow us, they work hard for us, and they'll go to the end of the world for us. That's a really, really rewarding part of my job.